Currently in the car with Matt Burden going to pick up um, another press person from Wallington. So obviously this has to be probably the maddest day in FBW's well, history really today. Uh, it is the maddest day in FBW's history, but we will not be stopped, um, Joe. I feel like Travis Bickle. All right. You know why. <laughs> He's got taxi driver vibe. Uh, yeah, somebody has taken it upon themselves to attempt to um, thwart us at every possible angle, every moment, and just when you think that uh, you know what you're doing and you've managed to find a new venue, that person decides to put in another call and um, try and ruin an evening really that was set up to celebrate our year anniversary, to raise money for cancer research, to give a lot of people a lot of fun, a lot of enjoyment. Yeah. Um, so clearly that person has no soul and uh, karma's gonna get you, I'm afraid. Very small penis. <laughs> so like, um, who do you think's kind of, who do you think's really affected by this? Is it, is it the fans or? Um, it's. Uh, it feels like I'm giving uh, giving other evil promoters a guide to how to ruin a promotion. Yeah. Um, who's it really affecting? Yeah. Um, or most affecting? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's put it this way: Future Pro Wrestling. Um, we do. We don't get in anyone's face. All right. We've got a fantastic Facebook community. We've built a fan base over 12 months and hopefully a, a phenomenal reputation in that time as well for putting on quality shows mm. and for being a good, accessible, easy-going promotion. Yeah. Um, we haven't been aggressive, we haven't been bullshit, um, but somebody with, uh, with clearly with booking knowledge um, has taken apart a license agreement and um, found a loophole twice in a day uh. Uh, to try and ruin what would be a phenomenal event and especially something that would raise so much money for charity. Of course, it's, yeah. It's a yeah. Really sick, sick thing to do. Yeah. Um, who's it going to affect the most? It will, our hardcore fan base, i.e. people that we've got to know personally, yeah. are rocking up right now yeah, definitely. at our new venue uh, and they will raise the roof tonight and I will probably break down in the middle of the ring because I'm a big softy when it yeah. comes to Dead Poet Society moments. Um, <laughs> But the people that is most probably most affecting is is foot traffic. Is people that don't necessarily have um, kind of an online presence, mm. um, and uh, yeah, people that were just planning on walking down to the venue. Yeah, you know, we've had to move the venue to a, a new a new secret location. Yeah, um, you can say it now. I can say it now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we said. Do you know where we did it? We we did we kicked it old style, old school, <laughs> in a working man's club in Mitcham, and uh, we filled it. I tell I tell you what though, like the, the way it's set up is I think I think it's fine. I, I really do think it's going to be a, definitely an intense atmosphere there tonight. Yeah. Um, make a lot of noise, a you know. Pack mentality. It is you know so, I mean, trying to remain objective here. I'm absolutely shocked about what's happened, you know, you would think there would be more kind of camaraderie within this industry, but how are you feeling? Um, I'd say I, I fall back on, I had a conversation with um, Gary Vanderhorn um, last weekend. Is he from Lucha Britannia, is that the? Owner of Lucha Britannia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, last weekend, and we talked about the pulling together of British wrestling um, and working for the good and just, Helping each other out and, mm. and working for, you know, a greater aware, awareness of British wrestling. And I left that conversation really uplifted, really, really confident that, you know, the majority of us are, are of the same mind. Clearly, mm. we're not all of the same mind. Mm. Um, but you know, companies that I know I can call on at the drop of a hat have, mm. you know. Uh, kind of rallied the troops when our first venue changed. Twitter exploded. Mm. Progress, Lucha, uh, FWA, um, you know, European Uppercut, mm. uh, Collar and Elbow, Atomic Lariat, it doesn't matter where you turned, the 
defend indie wrestling. Everyone was just, oh, don't let this die, come on. And yeah. that's what we want. So, so we, you know, we know who our friends are. Yeah. Um, I just think it's it's very, very sad. But I tell you what, we're, we're going to have a good night, no matter what. Yeah. And um, a, a stacked card is still a stacked card yeah. in a tiny working man's club. And now we've got beer. <laughs> so... Give me even louder. Beware, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> So, like, um, do you think this will change? Um, maybe, you know, how you guys operate, or is there anything to be learnt from this kind of stitch up, for want of a better phrase, really? Um, um, I mean, the the people that are responsible for the loophole um, have put their hands up and said, "Oh, yes, that's a, an oversight on our part," which is fine, mm. you know. And and they've said we're we're gonna clean up, really. Um, mm. It doesn't help. Uh, company's reputation, of course not. Um, which is something that we're very concerned about, of course. But you know, things like this, hopefully, will you know help that. But you've got three guys that spent the last three months trying to put together the best show that they promoting. could, promoting it all around, yeah, everywhere, yeah, getting everywhere. the, yeah. I mean, we can vouch for that definitely. You know, the amount of promotional work you guys have done, the amount of work that's gone into it, the fact that you've got so much going on tonight. You know, you've had. Stuff donated from you know very very well known wrestlers, i.e. Brett the Hitman Hart, you know, and for this to happen is just it's just shocking, you know. Um, but anyway, we're approaching our destination. Any final words that you want to say? Um, keep it clean. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm going to say is that the Sex Pistols started in a school gym, and there were some very important people at that venue way back when. Um, so I'm just going to say it's going to be very much a gig mentality tonight. Yeah. It's going to be probably the loudest. Um, wrestling show I've ever been to yeah um, we're gonna have a good time we're gonna celebrate our birthday in style we yeah. won't be thwarted and we won't be stopped and uh, karma is a bitch <laughs> excellent all right cheers man